Good day, viewers, and welcome to your daily dose of the viewpoint with yours truly, Mapa. Reports have emerged that Constantino Chiwena, vice president, has been flown to China for treatment owing to his poor health. Reports claim that he was quietly flown to China. How paradoxical and weird. The government has collapsed our healthcare system, yet officials travel abroad for better healthcare services. Why should he travel to China if everything is perfect in his home country? These people preside over a dysfunctional system and leave millions in limbo. Our people die every day because of poor health care services which have been brought about by the government. The government pays no heed to our doctors and nurses, doesn't listen to their pleas for a better health care system because the officials can travel to China and Singapore. What about our people? What have our people done to deserve this? This is lamentable. It is inexcusable that we stand and watch when our people suffer like this. This evil thrives because we are not doing anything. The government silence amid the intensifying strike of nurses is outrageous and dreadful. Demonstrations have been ongoing and spiraling for some time now, but the government has remained numb. With recorded cases of COVID on the rise, patients are being turned away from hospitals and discharged from our healthcare facilities, which have become defunct. Reports have emerged of doctors contracting the virus owing to the insufficiency of PPEs. Nurses continue to demand improved working conditions and better salaries. This they continue to do despite a snap from a government that is typified by pervasive corruption and plundering of state resources. Citizens continue to lose their lives, and no one seems to care. Meanwhile, instead of addressing pertinent issues, health officials are too busy sacking hospital CEOs. The Health Services Board has confirmed that a restructuring exercise has seen the dismissal of five CEOs of central hospitals and some directors from the Ministry of Health and Child Care. How this will improve the efficacy of our health sector amidst the raging virus, no one knows. We all need to act now to save our people. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a nurse. Even if you my primary school teacher, but I can't even afford to have a decent meal. I can't even afford to have a decent meal. I can't even afford to have Sama <laughs> 
vanopita mabinda uko vakura la mazuri nani kudarika ini ndaka inda kuchikoro tino shika kubi chusu ilo changu dai urumende ya chinsu kwa hao chawa no mari no tenga ike sino cooking oye ucha iyo ino da ma US dollars atisha chawa ulika ina shwe parking ino da US dollar asi chino da upenyu uri nani we want a decent salary chino da ukugara mnika head isu wana le Zimbabwe Chizu tiri papa kubatira nyika yedu Chinswe iwo, chinswe iwo, chinswe iwo, chinswe iwo Fano gara matari, chinswe iwo